It is showtime. It's tailgate and touchdown time. It's big plays and highlight reels time. It's time for Crimson and Cream Nation to gather together, raise one finger to the sky, and celebrate a new season, a new team, a new chance to chase a championship. It's prime time for dime time. It's time for new stars to shine with the game on the line. It's time for BV and Danny and G Freaky and Woody and you and me and 85,000 of the greatest fans in the greatest stadium for the greatest football program in America. What time is it? It's football time in Oklahoma. Back to pass, Gabriel looks in zone, throws in zone. He's got a man. Oklahoma Sooners and the Arkansas State Red Wolves. Here we go. Live from the Palace on the Prairie, Historic Owen Field in Norman, Oklahoma. This is Sooner Football. One extra degree, that's all it takes. From a simmer to a raging boil. From Adrian to AD. 25, 30, 25, 40, he'll go all the way. 50, 45, 40. From Marquise to Hollywood. Down the field, Hollywood! Where'd he come from? Roy to Superman. From Brian to the Boz. Not everyone can stand the heat, but this is Oklahoma. There's only one, Oklahoma. Week one in Norman, Oklahoma. Here comes the Sooner Scooter. So we welcome you to ESPN College Football, presented by Sales on a sunsplash Saturday morning. Expectations as high as ever here inside the Palace on the Prairie. Arkansas State's in town out of the Sun Belt to tangle with number 20, Oklahoma. Final season in the Big 12 for Brent Venables and the Oklahoma Sooners before transitioning into the SEC six and seven a year ago, the first losing season in a generation in these parts. Meanwhile, for Butch Jones, the head man in Jonesboro, Arkansas. You're number three and all of his top. Thank you, Coach. Yeah, Roy? Tawi Walker gets his first career start, and the touch ahead to the 35, a gain of four yards on first down. He's but still had a pretty decent year. Straight ahead on third down and two, and that will move the chains of first down for OU after a gain of seven, the stop by Javante Mackey. A Walker off to a good start, the junior out of Las Vegas. OU utilizing tempo and play action for Gabriel. Wants it all. Fires a shot, and it is brought into the 10 by Anthony. So excited about the speed that Andrew Anthony brings over from Michigan. One-on-one, -on -one able to win with a lot of open field. Play action to Stoops, and that's a quick touchdown. Trey Stoops marches in, and just like that, Boomer on the board. The block by Andrew Anthony, number five, sets this up. Red Wolves every single every year. Every single year, if that happens. Marcus Major on the field. We expect him to get the bulk of the carries today. 
Farouk around the left side. And spun down after picking up 11 by Travion Thomas. Incredible pace so far for the Sooner. Strake stoops. Crowd will tell you who caught it in the plus territory. Another big gainer of 21. Well, Dylan Gabriel told us this week him and Drake Stoops have become ultra close, very tight. They share the same sense of humor. On cue, another first down. Shoved down near the 40, another gain of 11. Recently, it'll be second down and 22. Delayed give to Marcus Major. No, the play action fake and the pass is there for Anthony. Across the 20, down to the 18, a gain of 18, and that penalty yardage is gobbled up quickly. It's a strike to Andrew Anthony against Justin Hodges. Another nifty move, it stoops. Inside the five, it'll be first down and goal for OU. Smith in motion, Major again the running back on first down and goal. Major plows his way straight ahead in his first touchdown of his senior campaign. Look at Gavin Rame, the center. This is getting after somebody. He does an excellent job of driving. Red Wolves in desperate need of a stop. Gabriel, quick strike. Needed eight, and Freeman stays in bounds. He tiptoed near side. That'll move the chains. The miss tackled by Thomas. Sooners will slow it down. A perfect four for four start on third down. Yes. Walker into the red zone, stopped at the 20. Was that Oklahoma transferred back in from South Carolina? Had a nice block on that last play. In this game, two players came back to their previous schools after both playing at South Carolina. Third down and three. Barnes bullies his way for a first down. Oklahoma already with over 200 yards of total offense and a three touchdown lead. Off of that run, they decided to go to that a lot. Gabriel in the flats to the pylon for the touchdown. Gavin Freeman, the former walk-on. A standout in our first 15 minutes, his second touchdown of 2023. Look at the alignment of Travion Thomas. He's almost at the goal line. There's so much space between him and Gavin Freeman there in the slot to the top. He's got so much ground to cover. Freeman just a quick little flat route. And 28 to nothing our score. Dylan Gabriel remains on the field. The left-hander tosses one short. Return and guys, that's tough. He's one of the team's best cover corners. Petaway caught the last pass. Gabriel with all afternoon into Arkansas State Territory. L.V. Bunkley Shelton. Competitive depth. I think we heard that phrase nine or ten times yesterday sitting in Coach Venable's office. Howie Walker keeps the play alive. And we told us this week it was an unsettling feeling how the Cheez-It Bowl ended against Florida State. We aim to change that uh, this year. Back shoulder toss and there it is. Jaden Gibson, first down and goal for OU. Well, but gives Gibson a chance, perfectly placed. Leon Jones went up, snagging it, and bringing it down. Right over Leon Jones on the very next play. A touchdown for the Sooners. 34 to nothing. Outstretched arm reach. Jaden Gibson makes a fantastic catch, and then... We want. Show their support for Julie Venable's continued courageous fight against cancer. Battle, ongoing battle, what it means for everybody, especially for him. Gabriel going deep. Nick Anderson, back-to-back -back plays. First and goal, Oklahoma. Bottle him up after a one-yard game. Last play down the field, Dylan Gabriel looking at Anderson all the way, wide open down the field. Anderson almost. I don't, I don't hate it, but I didn't see a lot to that. Gabriel will buy a little time. He can scramble. Shoved out inside the five. 
Cincinnati Bengals. Gabriel again. Will buy some time and a touchdown. Well, that a nifty little run there, Roy. Gabriel drops back, doesn't see anything to his left, doesn't see anything in the middle, nothing to his right. Do I have to run? Yeah, okay, I'll do it. You know what? I'll put it in. Expect the conference to be fantastic. All the teams have gotten the top 25. Heisman Trophy winner returning. Blake Smith, look out. Usher down near the 44. They feel really good about that position with both of those guys healthy. They are expecting the debut of the five-star quarterback, number one dual-threat quarterback in the country, Jackson Arnold. I am both humble and confident because uh, that confidence shines through. Straight ahead, Javante Barnes. Stopped short of the red zone. It was Straker that brought him down. A gain of 17 more. And Brent Venable said he's not going to play like a third-year player. He's going to make his share of mistakes. UMass and Auburn coming up when we're done in Norman. The debut of Hugh Freeze on the Plains. Petaway shoved out near first down yardage. Gavin Freeman, but Jack West Petaway is going to get some time there as well. Arnold play action into the flats. L.B. Bunkley Shelton picks up another first down. 16 yards. And Walker this time. No problem on the second attempt. Well, the start of the second half more of the same. 34 remains perfect. Tawi Walker has scored twice today. The second time to start our second half. 52 0. It's all Boomer. Excited to go talk to some recruits later today. He absolutely loves it. Well, he postponed his meeting with us. Kate McIntyre. Gonna pick up a first down. Arnold. Tempo. Back corner. Off the cam. Touchdown. Jaden Gibson. Right over the top of Leon Jones. Got a winter guard in Florida. Here in Norman, he's doing quite nicely. Thank you very much. And the perfect start for the quarterback, the five stars. Matt, we appreciate that update. It is great to see Virginia back on the field for the first time after the tragedy late last fall. Mac Hollins leading the team out earlier today. And Roddy will be in Charlottesville next weekend. We look forward to that trip. Originally out of Swanee, Georgia. And this is the kind of play that Brent Venables really... Shortening the game a little bit. It's going to help. Arnold busts through again for another touchdown. One more look at Jackson Arnold after the extra point drilled by Gavin Marshall. Get a puller coming around, big Nate in. And here we are. It's been total domination is probably an understatement for what it's been for, for Oklahoma. Hicks to the edge. And the end zone for another OU touchdown. Caleb Hicks scores. The Sooners have put up 73 points. Expected to win in convincing fashion, but 73 going to turn some.